I wanted to take a little bit of time and do a video to show the process of preparing for and uploading the documentation required at the wing level for the compliance inspection and for the squadron level at the subordinate unit inspections. This also applies to the off-year SAVs that the units are required to conduct either for themselves or have conducted by region. Of course, the first thing is to have the current worksheet down for your specific area. You can download this on the national website. I did send out to every wing staff officer the current one as of October 2019. When you open it, you'll notice it is a PDF, which is very easily editable. I provide basic information here. Uh, whereas in the past, you could not provide notes. Uh, that would be something that just the evaluators would enter. Uh, it's now something that they're looking for, just a quick little explanation. So in addition to putting yes, no, or not applicable, they're going to be looking for, if possible, some little information here that gives them an idea where to find it or that, that you have something more than just yes. Up in the mission and staffing notes, it'd be a great location to just give a very basic brief sentence or two background on yourself and list any assistant or assistants that are currently given in e-services under the duty assignments. Uh, I tend to also, in addition to writing up uh, a brief synopsis of my commendable items, I tend to mention that in the mission and staffing notes. Uh, I would always be careful, especially on these worksheets. Look at the very bottom. In addition to the date on page one, check page two, page three, page four. Sometimes national likes changing one page of the worksheet and instead of editing the whole thing they just throw in that page so if you are downloading a current worksheet or you think your current worksheet is the same as the updated one you might want to go on the national website compare each page make sure you're not going to get surprised during the inspection so i've completed everything here i have then made sure to save it it's on my desktop of course, whenever I download something, I want to save it somewhere where I can easily get to it. In addition, I have my commendable items here. Now it's time for me to go into eServices. So I log into eServices. Under the menu section, I'm going to go to Inspector General. I don't like how they list it, but you're going to go to SUI CI SAV Survey Audit Reports. In other words, that's the documentation tab. That's where you're going to be uploading stuff throughout the year so that you're always ready for an inspection. You want to go to documentation. The reason why is if you click right here, right now, under organization, you are going to get every unit in Civil Air Patrol. Make it easier on yourself. Click documentation on the far left. It will then take you to this specific wing. If it's for a CI, obviously you're going to select 001. If it's for an SUI, you're going to select your specific unit. You're going to see a gigantic list of things on here with different dates, everything from 2016 through 2019. It's really important. First thing you do, select your mission area. So for me, it will be personnel. It will then reduce what files are viewed to the specific D5 personnel tab settings. And it has a lot of stuff from the past. Don't immediately go in and delete the old material. In some cases, your questionnaire, your worksheet, pardon me, will specifically require you to have information and evidence for the past two years or the past three years. There are some things, just based on your knowledge of the mission, that you could get rid of. For example, I'm going to want to delete my old Nevada Wing uh, progression chart. That would be the thing that I'm going to be using I can download a copy if I want. You'll notice I click view file. The current file comes down there. I can throw that onto my computer just to make sure if I delete something, I don't regret it later. In this case, I'm pretty sure I'm going to want to delete it, so I will do so. It will want me to confirm. Very easy, very simple. Same thing with my old worksheet. I'm going to want to delete the old worksheet because... I, of course, am going to go back in and I'm going to upload the new one. So delete. It again asks, do you want to confirm it? Yes. It's time for me to upload the new worksheet. Now, wherever you save it in your computer, try to keep it consistent. You may want to have it in a folder or you may want to have it on your desktop, wherever. 
For me, I have it on my desktop. It says right here the file I have selected to be uploaded. That doesn't mean it's been uploaded yet. I still have to click Add Documentation File, and it will say, are you sure this is the file you want to upload? Hit OK. Once it's done uploading, you will see that the new date is here, October 6th, exact time I'm at right here. I also want to upload one of the commendable items I'm hoping that the inspection team will consider. Oh no, it says there's a problem. If you run into this, that is important to keep in mind, and let's see if I can go back and, and get that to display. Uh, it is important that not every file you have can be uploaded. There are certain file types that will take and will not. You'll see on the screen right here, for example, you're going to upload a PDF or a Word document. You can upload a JPEG or a GIF. You can upload an Excel spreadsheet or a PowerPoint. Any of those are fine, but if you encounter one of these problems, it could be a simple phone call to me. I can walk you through how to alter the file settings in order to get the correct file to upload up there. Uh, it, most of the time, I recommend PDF. That's the simple process. Uh, all we're asking for is that on a regular basis, you keep this updated. It is your continuity file as a wing staff officer or a squadron staff officer. And if you have any questions, uh, please let me know. Thank you very much for watching.